Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. The Gladiator Gaming Team Tournament took place in Logan Home, Australia, from the 1st to the 2nd of July, 2023. The tournament had five rounds with 90 players and 450 games played. Jaden Whitehair won the tournament with their Aldari. Luke Pierce and their Chaos Demons came second, with Jacob O'Donnell running Necrons in third. Big congratulations to all these players, and apologies for any poor pronunciation of their names. The winning Eldari list leans into the automatic sixes for the fate dice, with no less than five Farseers, two on foot and three on bikes, so they can have that free automatic six wherever it's needed. Eldriders in tow for those additional free fate dice at the start of the game. Unfortunately, the enhancements were not listed on the units, so we don't know which Farseer had which enhancement or which character was the Warlord. We then see three Guardian squads with bright lances, which I'm assuming were led by the on foot Farseers. We then see two of the very powerful Wraith Knights, both with double Wraith Cannon and Star Cannon. Finally, the list has three Knight Spinners, and unfortunately, we do not know what optional war gear they took, as it was not on the list. This list was played before the balance updates, which have been released today at time of recording. At the time of the tournament, it is not surprising that this list won with the insane Mortal Wound spam from the Wraith Knights. They now cost over 100 points more, as per the recent changes, as well as the Knight Spinners going up in points. This list would now be over 2,000 points, so I would imagine Eldari lists will look a fair bit different in the future. The second player of Chaos Demons list goes heavy on the Greater Demons, with Bellacor as the Warlord. There is also a Keeper of Secrets with the Soul Stealer, a Lord of Chains with the Everstave, and Shalaxi Hellbane. Finally, for characters, we have the Changeling. There is one unit of Bloodletters and a Skull Cannon, and three units of Flamers. Chaos Demons are performing quite well at the start of 10. Perhaps with the nerfs to Knight and Eldari, they will start winning more tournaments. The third place Necrons list has a Hexmark Destroyer as the Warlord, with the Soften Coronal, which seems a must take for Necrons, so units can get the bonuses of being led. There is an Overlord with the Hyper Material Oblator, and two Technomancers. We then see three Annihilation Barges, and the very well costed Canoptech Reanimator. There are two free base squads of Scarab Swarms, and two Crypto Frolls, which are a nice additional wounds for a squad with a built-in 4 plus feel no pain. As it was declared on the list, we know the 10-man Lich Guard squad was being led by the Overlord and one of the Technomancers, with the Crypto Frowls in tow. I'm sure this squad was a nightmare to take down, with all the stacking durability buffs. We see a 6-man squad of Locust Destroyers, and a 2-3-man squad of the Heavy variety, with the Gauss Destructors for some serious anti-tank firepower. Finally, we see a Seraptic Heavy Construct with the Devastating Wounds Singularity Generators, this unit has taken a points increase, so it may well be the last time we see it in a top 3 tournament list. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 11.11% of all players taking them. Aldaria close behind in 2nd with 10%, followed by Imperial Knights in 3rd on 7.78%. It takes our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy Phyllis Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking the video, it really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. The single Yunari player tops the win rates with 80%. The tournament winner and second most popular faction Aldari come next, with a very impressive win rate of 75.6%. You can see why they were nerfed. Imperial Knights come next with a win rate of 62.9%. They also got a nerf in the balance pass. Gene Steeler Colts and World Eaters are the last factions in blue, both with a win rate of 60%. Tyran is top the green group with a win rate of 56%, followed by Chaos Space Marines and Tau, who both get a win rate of 53.3%. Custodies, Drukari and Orgs just getting green with a win rate of 50%. The tournament runner-up, Chaos Demons, tops the yellow group with a win rate of 46.7%. The most popular faction, the Space Marines, top the red group with a win rate of 38%. A bit surprisingly, the third place finisher Necrons only get a win rate of 36.7%. The three Chaos Space Marine players are unknown, so we'll go straight into the Space Marine rankings. The joint most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, top the win rate, with an impressive 66.7%. The other most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, and the Death Watch, unfortunately, only manage a win rate of 20%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.